Hello and welcome to episode number 10 of Youth Squad Prospects 2 with Harlepool United. So, yeah, this episode, I'm going to make up for last episode because I didn't play the full game that I said I was going to play because things just simply didn't go to plan. And the stream was not going well, so I decided to do an even bigger episode than last time and play all five games of December. And that is it. I'll leave you at the 1st of January. And then we'll do everything about the transfer window in the next episode. So, right, let's get on to the action. Let's check on the league table first. Notts County are in the playoff spots, which are the guys we're going to play next. We are sitting in 16th. That's a bit of a dangerous spot, but we have got a game in hand. So let's make the most out of that. For that, we need to beat Notts County, so let's get on to it. Right, here we go. To kick off the busy Christmas period, we are going up against Notts County. So from now on, I'm just going to play the freshest players. There is really not much to choose, and might as well get the freshest men out there. Let's get on to it. Let's see what we get. It's good. Lowest scoring team in the league. It's still us. We're tied with the Oval Town. God damn it. We need to get scoring. But with Martinez up front, I'm really not too sure. Let's go. Yes, Hughes. They're solid as a rock. Phil Gomez. Inside. He's going to find Murphy. He's going to... Slip it out wide to Gruber. He's going to try and shoot it. It's deflected out. No, just a bad miss. Martinez. Yes. Rangelov. Rose. Ref says play on. Oh, but we've got a guy injured. No. Oh, man. Who, is, who just got injured? Michael O'Connor just injured Rangelov as well. But at the start of the Christmas period as well. So Nasri has come on for Rangelov, who unfortunately gets a big injury. No, oh, great ball. To Forte. Doesn't do much with it yet. Still holding on to it. It's twisting and turning. Great ball. And Burke is putting Notts County in front. I mean, that is what happens when you go in with, with a weak inside and one of your best players gets injured. Yeah. Just not going to plan. But I'm not really too bothered about that because we're playing with reserve players against a, a promotion contending side and Gomez has just put us back in it. Out of nowhere. Oh, yes. I'm going to slow celebrate this one with the manager. Hell yeah. Gomez didn't seem shite for once. Wow. And what a time to not look shite. In off the post. Great finish. For a 49, a 50 overall that he is. Yeah. Very good finish. Edit. Yes, Ethne. Well done. Nasri, he's going to try and go himself. Yes, Rose, still got it. Martinez inside, Murphy, it's in! Get in! Oh, finish. Rose takes it well with his first touch, takes two opponents out of it. Great pass on to, I think it was Gomez or Struna. Yes, Struna. And then Murphy takes it. A very weird strike, but he manages to get it in. Very well done. What a comeback. He kind of sweeps the ball in behind his body so that he can hit the ball. That is really good. And that is half time straight after that. What a comeback. What a first half comeback. 
So there is two subs, Sanchez and Price coming on for Murphy and Rangelov. Murphy and Rangelov did fantastic in the first half, but they are just dead. Their standard was in the red, so we had to take them off. Let's go, second half begins, and Sanchez is already going through. Watch this. Still going. Yes, Sanchez. Still going. Oh, if he finished that. Yeah, he needs to work on his finishing as well. Oh, man, what a run. Yes, Martinez still got it. Lays it out wide to Rose. Does well there. Yes, good strike. Oh, that's a big foul. And he's going to play on. Forte. Good crossing. Oh, and it's in. Malayan couldn't keep that one out. What a game this is. Yeah, he got a touch in it. Did the best he could, but that was a good volley. I thought the referee was going to blow for a foul, but he played on. And not to count, he made the most of it. 2-2. Two, two. Get it out. Get it out. No, oh, thank you. What a, me what a gloucester foot in that penalty area. Thank God we got away with that. I think that we should have won that game, even though it was a good game. And everybody did well. Even Gomez did well. That's how good of a match it was. I'm just done that we let in the equaliser in the second half. Well, there's nothing we can do about it now. But at least we got a point out of this game. And we'll take it. Great job with our program. Right. Yeah, we did the Youth Academy object objectives. Yeah. We've done the second one. I think it was the uh, Grow 1 Youth Academy player. And then starting in five matches. Yeah, I think that's the one that we just did. And Dimitar Rangelov is out with a ACL. And will be out for about seven months. That is just until the... That's a season. That is definitely his season. Over. We play on Christmas Eve. And it's against Grimsby Town. Let's see what we get from this game. That is our starting lineup now that Rangelov is out. Shame they won't play for the rest of the season. It's a bad Christmas present for him. I feel bad for him. But yeah, we got to keep going and just got to deal with it. Simple as. Right, let's get on to it. It's Grimsby Town against Harleypool. Rangelov does his man. Now there's only one Rangelov. It's Ivayo. Yes, he's going through. Great ball. Struna. Go on, man. Finish. And again. Oh, man. Should have let it out for a corner. There was no angle there. Logal. Yes. Oh, save Malayan. Good save. And again. Oh, it's foul. It's another foul. Yes. Struna. Yes, we'll take most of that free kick. Take the goal. Easy enough. Great ball from Damara. He takes the free kick. Uh, sorry, Struna takes the free kick quickly. Great one too. And Struna smashes it home. No chance for the keeper. And we are 1-0 up. Just before half time as well. Great timing. We need that we're in the box. He's 6 1. Vargas. Oh, Heather in. Just not any accuracy whatsoever. And that is half time. Oh, it's a cross in. Save Malayan. Yes. Well done, lads. What a save. Holy Jesus. Got a free man here, Gomez. At first touch, he made up for it. Gruber, oh, it's in. Deflected in. 
And I'm going to take that every single day of the week. Very low key. But hey, I've been bullshitting so many times in the last couple of episodes that I'll take it. What a lucky goal. Keep a dive one way and just too late to react to the deflection. It was already in the air. Ben Davis with the on goal. I mean, Keeper would have clearly saved that if it went without a deflection. Go on, take it, save the lane, and again! Oh my word, what a save! Ridiculous double save. He saved that rock, and then straight after that, that is like Superman and saves it on the line. Man, what a clusterfuck in our defence. We cannot get rid of the ball soon enough. And finally, we can see from this corner, it's been coming. And Grimsby finally get their goal. Hopefully, a consolation one. Luke Summerfield scores for Grimsby. Oh, come on, Gomez. Don't be sleeping there. It's not over. Finally, it's over. Gomez almost costed us the game there. Very close call. And we deserved to win because of the first half performance. But that goal, we got a bit lucky in this game. That was a bit for the other game when we should have won and we didn't. So I'll take it. 2-1. Great result. Great Christmas present as well. Right, after the Christmas Eve game, we play two days later on Boxing Day. Gonna have to play like this, gonna have to struggle. But it, it's Accrington, so I expect to get something from this match. Unless they turn into another Steven and just mashes 4-1 out of nowhere. I think if we are patient, we can take this out. Now let's get on to the game. It's Hartlepool against Accrington. And these guys are in the relegation battle. They always seem to be one of the worst teams in League 2. And somehow, they still stay in the division. Rose. Oh, straight away. What a great start. I couldn't have literally asked for more. We can now sit on our blocks and do shit else for the rest of the match. I was not expecting that. Great finish. I think Accrington didn't go out of the locker room yet. Oh, great run. Still going. Gets past four players and Eagles equalizers out of nowhere as well. Great run. Sorry that I skipped, but I'll show you in the instant replay. This guy, what is his name? Is he a region? Um, nah, he's not. He's Clark. He's not a region, right? Because he's got an untucked shirt. He just gets past everybody and then plays this ball to the goal scorer, Eagles, who smashes it first time. I mean, not even Manuel Neuer would have saved that. Well, unfortunately, I lost a clip in the Elgato software, so I reminded that I could use the PlayStation software and then record it with the Elgato. So, yeah, it's saved on the PS4. So, uh, this is the Grimsby game. Now we get to the Accrington game, right? We get onto the lead. You've already seen that, as well as their equaliser. Great run by Clark. Going through. Martinez. Go on, lad. Oh, he gets off the ball way too easily. You need to hold on a challenge. Now McConville gets past Vargas. Taylor Fletcher still has it. And Clark puts in the goal. I don't know how that has gone through. 
Vargas was a bit too weak there to hold on to him, and that we pay the price. 2-1. That team right there, what can you do? You can't do much with that. I mean, I was working here. Yeah, number I think he went off. Yeah, Gruber. And then straight after we came out for the second half, they came to score the third. A Gloucesterfuck that we haven't dealt with. That was their goal, and now we thought that we were out of the match. But from the kickoff, look at this. Sanchez takes off, lays it off to Martinez. I was trying to work around them. Good passing in here. Martinez slips through Sanchez. He puts the ball of dreams in, and five foot seven Constantine Gruber scores another header. To make it 3-2. And at this point I was like. Maybe we could get something out of this. I mean that was such a good play. The last minute. We're trying to get the ball. Eagle slips through. Ogle. He crosses it into Key. And he finishes it. I mean no chance for that. And that was full time. Yeah. And from them match facts. I'd say we deserve to draw the game. But unfortunately, just, things just didn't went our way. And we end up losing 4-2 when we could have actually drawn. I'll definitely blame that on the tiredness of my players. This is a big game. We need to make the most of it. But our players are just dead. Not even tight. They are dead. This is a starting lineup for Leighton Orient, and as you can see, the stamina levels are pretty down at the moment. I think in stamina, I've never fielded a team as bad as this. So yeah, it's going to be a new experience for me. Let's see how I, how I hold on to this great English Rodolfo. Let's get on to it. Yes. Oh, save the lane. Great save by the lane. Very good attack by Leighton Orient. That reverse pass did the whole defence. And the lane with a good save. Now we are able to go on the counter. Nope. Oh, come on. A tango now. That's a good cross. And Palmer scores. Nothing we could have won. Nothing we could have done. About that. Great driven cross. Yeah, go on. Oh my word, Rangelov. How are you getting out paint? Oh my, shut up. Shut the fuck up. Everything. What the fuck is going on in our defense? We cannot do shit in this game. I know we're tired, but come on. How does Rangelov get outpaced by a fat guy? And then this volley comes in after just about we cleared it. Everybody's out of position because it was cleared, after all. Even Malen because he came out for the cross and I didn't ask him to. Our team is just dead. Even the substitutes. Nobody marked him to get it cleared. And good save by Malen and it's going to be a third. It just shows the performance. Nobody's willing to do anything. They are just dead. They, when they get home, they'll just fall on their bed. Simon Lidberg's expression says it all. We just couldn't do anything. I can't really ask more from my players. That, that was lackluster, yes. But they were tired. Well, that is the starting lineup for... Mansfield Town, we are still pretty knackered. And it's until we get the stamina back, it's going to be every game like the Leighton Orient one, where we're just going to get hammered.
go see what the team can do with the stand that that they have here it is let's see what we can do with the side they are pretty knackered still so i don't expect much from this match look at max and dale good save malayan nobody covering in the middle and malayan stepped up the plate yet again great little save there lucky that the bounce took it over the bar but who cares as long as it doesn't go in see how it goes very quiet match so far go on oh good shot for save and a half there oh Kruber. yes nasri plays it in damara inside shoot man fucking hell that is half time nothing really happened in the first half apart from a couple of chances to us but we couldn't make the most of it so it's nil all it's a, it's a wide open game can go either side so three substitutions here i've brought on price a rose and I think it was Martinez, yes, for Rangelov, Murphy, and Sanchez. Go on, take it. What the fuck? Inside, save Malayan. We are holding on to this. The energy left. Hughes, gonna whip this one in. It's a good cross. Can't do much more than this. Yes, Damarat holds on to the ball. Hughes, good cross, lads. Oh, it's in, it's in. Get in. Struna, yes. Fucking get in. We've been holding on just keep the clean sheet and we just in this last five minutes we've just been whipping crosses and it's been working and we finally score oh man what a victory this will feel like two victories cut if we win this yes oh, i'll take it it's full time i was gonna go on the counter but that doesn't matter because we won it anyway and thanks to that man right there struna the cross from Hughes, perfect. That's why he's just got his right back spot back. Now Nasri is even into the side because Ragulov's injury. Malin made a great match as well. He denied most of the opportunities, but man of the match is deservedly so. Hughes gets the man of the match award. Struna 8.3. Malin should have had an 8 at least. Defence was solid. Everybody did great. For their stamina levels, they did great. And we sure don't deserve this win. This was a, a smash and grab. There'll be a squad report in the next episode. Otherwise, it will we'll get too long. I think it's already gone too long anyway. So, better leave the squad report for the next episode. And, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. And until then, have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.